Hello and welcome back to RLCS Recap with the host Marky Two Butts. Today we're going over the EU regional number two that happened a couple weekends ago. We're taking a look at all the action that happened in the upper bracket round number one in the quarterfinals and the lower bracket round numbers one through three in this RLCS recap. Let's get into it. We got Moist taking on Fufa XDOP. And right off the kickoff, we got a ball hitting the crossbar almost put over the line by a moist player but not quite there yet but they are still on the offensive they're waiting for the ball to come out and cash gonna go to the corner back post he's able to find a teammate for an easy put away as a, a demo comes through on a moist player but they still have control of the ball and right in front of the zone is oh a nice uh, defensive play putting it off the off the wall and back off him but they can't quite clear it in just a minute left is two nothing Fufa trying to get some offense going here right over the top of the box cleared out for the time being and another 51 by Juicy is going to lift that up in the air and demo the player to make sure Joy County's got a open net to aim for and it's pretty likely that he was going to score that regardless as he was had in a favorable favorable position to get a goal but coming down 10 seconds left, I think this is all moist game and it is indeed with a four nothing to first game as these games are best of fives as they've always been in the uh, spring regionals and another goal comes in from moist as uh, Fufa hasn't yet to score a goal yet. We're going to change the hair's force trying to put that up in the air and oh he passes to a teammate who is able to put that against the back wall a nice double touch to start there. Uh, goal scoring in the tournament as they get oh another goal goes in by moist just being to it a lot quicker is uh moist than fufa at the moment and a third one goes in and that is a three to one game and moist taking a two nothing lead in the tournament in the uh series trying to finish us off in a sweep as the air, uh, dribble goes through a couple players and will score with a minute 25 left to go blocked pushed away but Moist still on the offensive here as it finally is cleared. And he's able to read where Juicy's going with the ball, and that's going to leave for Karka, and he's able to put that one home, and that is a 1-1 game right off the kickoff too. Karka with the ball in his own corner, not a whole bunch of boosts. Going to have to try to beat a player, can't quite do it, and it's not exactly cleared on, goes through, and that is 2-1 game for Moist now with just 18 seconds remaining. Fufa is going to have to go for it here as Juice trying to dribble past couple players. And he's able to do so and leaves it for Joe Kami. And that will be it for the round one action. As no 3 2 is a little bit surprising in this uh, upper bracket round number one. But everyone's going to have a second chance to go as we are in the upper bracket quarterfinals with Oxygen versus Guild here. And both of them obviously winning their first games. Oxygen 3 0 in Monaco and Guild 3 1 in G1. As Oxygen take a 2 0 lead right off the kickoff, though, with a one on one and a second player coming in. Lewis P right behind uh, whoever was in front of him and slams it home. That is a, oh, another 3 1 game. As I'm going to say, they cut the lead in half, but they, as soon as they did, the lead got cut or got put back to 2. And Oxygen will take the game at 3 2 as Gil get a last goal right there. Right off the kickoff in the beginning. Nice infield pass comes through. And that is one nothing to Guild with three minutes remaining. Still lots of time left for Oxygen to come back in this. Exco trying to play that into the mid or trying to clear that actually. He doesn't want to play that into the middle. Thought that he was going that was the offensive zone. And it was not. And that goes bar down for a two nothing from Guild as they take the game a game back. Little speed trying to keep the pressure on. Gonna come back to Gom. He's gonna put that up in the air to Acro. Doesn't quite find it, and a demo comes through, and that's just going to be going into the corner from Oxygen. So they take the one nothing lead. Exco going to pass that into the air to the back wall. It goes down. Can he read it correctly? Yes, he could. Can, but the defender a little bit quicker to the ball, and Guild going the other way now. And Gom just takes that from the the top of the ceiling where he is all the way to the goal. Scores that, ties this up, and into the last like 30 seconds and the shot comes through and that's going to be an oxygen win two to one as they are on match point here as best of five ball played out and yoris trying to find a can't quite do and that goes back post and that's going to be into the back of the net from a nice shot goes all the way across net east couldn't really do anything about it guild 
starting to, to come to life here as the another 50 goes in as the defender just on the line stationary couldn't really do anything about that and killed the two nothing right off the kickoff too Archer can't win that 50 Lewis P flipper said push it across the net and a third members coming up and there's a three nothing uh, lead for guild minute 40 remain in less lately for oxygen to come back now three nothing as another 50 goes the way of oxygen able to save out the line but not for long as auction do cut the lead into two and right off the kickoff though on the offensive is guild in the infield pass and it's able to find lewis p down on the ground puts it home that is a 4-1 win as we are into game number five first of the tournament so far as auction take a one nothing lead a nice 51 and a second 51 Archie, can he put do anything about that? He didn't get the greatest hot shot on an acro. Turns around and he's able to fire that one home. A lot better of a shot as there's no one in goal. The rotations aren't quick enough for that type of play with a ball coming through or turning around in the midfield area. As Guild take the 2 1 lead as well. And auction infield pass. Oh, and triple commit coming through. Someone's able to save it. Can they clear it though? Oh, that hits the post and still bounced it around. Yorez, I think, was the one that pushed it in at the end. As that is twos a piece into the last minute 15 of the game. It's Archie waiting for the ball. And somebody coming through gets dunked on. And back post drops down. And oxygen will lose to Guild 3 2. As Guild wins the last two games. And Carmen Corp beat PSG Tundra, Moist beat Team Liquid, and Vitality beat BDS. So we're into the lower bracket, round number one, uh, Monaco versus G1 game or series. As Monaco take the lead really early on, another infield pass over to Dying, and he's able to get a second one. Still lots of time in this game left over, but G1, oh, and they hit the ball against each other, and that drops down for Ocelian. He's going to put that away as that is 3-0. This game's really gotten a little bit out of hand. And that ball's just going to be uh, cut out past the pass. going to be cut out real quick. And 4 is about to become 5, and it will be as Monaco just turn on the, the gas in this uh, first game. 5 nothing, but still more than half the time remaining in the game for G1. But that's going to be quite the comeback if it happens. And they do got to start it somewhere, and that is a goal for them as they start with one and another one a nice little 50 in the corner is able to be flected into the goal and that is five to two now as they do have not a lot of time but monaco scored a couple goals in about five seconds worth of game time so why can't they as well as dorito is able to put that one on target and that's five three now right off the kickoff more action coming through is already eight goals been scoring this game that's a lot and oh nice little uh, def or redirect, I guess, as the ball is bouncing up, he's just gonna put that on target and in, and that is 6 3 and possibly a game over at this point with a minute 30 remaining saved away. But it can't be pushed away, and another shot comes through from Stizzy, and that is 7 to 3. That has to be the most goals scored in a game in a uh, long time. I have to imagine it's dying, looking for another one, uh, puts it to the back wall, and a Cillian is there for an 8 3 game. And still the action continues, and Stizzy's going to steal that one from his teammate. That is 9-3, 12 goals total scored on that. Is Monaco looking real strong after losing their first game to Oxygen, getting three out, uh, coming out with nine goals in the first game. That's that's definitely a lot, and they're just, oh, Dine's just cherry-picking that one. Is that is 2 nothing right away. As G1 really got to sort their defense out uh, quickly, too, as this is already 2 nothing in the second game. Three minutes gone, or two minutes gone. And another infield pass comes through to Ocelian. He's able to put one over the last defender, and that is 3 nothing. As is not looking great, as you can tell by the person watching. Must be a G1 fan, as it has not been great for them. As Ali trying to find something, can't quite do it, but it bounces down, and Atomic is there for the first goal. And this might be a little bit easier to come back on, as they still are have the pressure on. Doritos there. He's able to tie that one, or not tie it up, but get that goal. That is two goals, and the pressure still on. 50 seconds remaining. Cut out by Dyne is going to dump that one through, and that is just lasered in. Dorito way too fast for him, as that is 4-2. 40 seconds remaining. Ball played up dangerously over the Monaco goal, though. And can Ali deflect it in? Oh, goes in off of the defenders. That's unfortunate, but they still do have a goal on them. 
with just 10 seconds remaining. Asilion, I'm gonna put that on target. And Dyan's right there too and can't be pushed away. And that is a five to three win for Monaco as they still hold on for the win. There's Dorito, can he win a 50? Yes, he can. It goes in off the post. One nothing, G1 starting out better with two minutes remaining. So the defense definitely had been looking better for the time being as the ball played down over to Ali. He's gonna loop that one down and plays it off to the side a little bit, but Ali reads where he's gonna push it away and he's able to capitalize on this as two nothing from G1. Asilion's gonna put that to target. Oh, and a nice little touch to beat both players, but can't be stopped all the way as they go from defense to offense at Atomic puts that at three, nothing. Minute 30 remaining is looking a lot better from G1 here. Stizzy flipper set, is he gonna use it? Yes, he will, and it goes through, but that is all for game number three as G1 don't get swept, and they also only let in one goal as compared to the last two games where they let in 14, so it's definitely an improvement in this third game the fourth game looking for a starting goal again and they're able to get one as a dribble into the net up up in the air into the net and a ceiling with a demo is good balls dangerously in front of the goal and sissy is there and there's one's a piece for the game as atomic trying to find something here into the corner teammates are waiting that's gonna pinch out into the middle dorito is there and he's not got a lot of boost but he aims it at where it came back where it came from and there's two to one to g1 with about a minute 40 remaining and nice defense by atomic's gonna push that out and dorito's got no more boost but he's just needs one to beat and ali is there for the put away and there's three one two Back to back 3 1 games right off the kickoff, too. And that's silly. And oh, he misses that right off the kickoff as Monaco seemed to be struggling a lot here in these last couple of games, only scoring one goal in each of the last two games. And the reverse sweep is well and truly on. And a demo comes through. Tomic's going to pass that cross. Oh, and it's missed, but back across the goal and off the crossbar. And you can see the play, the guy watching this loving it as a G1 fan himself. And that's 2 0 with a minute 45 remaining. Monaco seemed to be scrambling a lot here as they've really not great right now and that it will be a reverse sweep complete as that's got to be a very impressive thing to be down that that bad if uh losing nine to three and five to three in the first two games and coming back to to win as they've scored three goals in all five games is honestly pretty impressive and in that of itself really is we are on to team bds versus uh and already with a one nothing win bds in the first game i was talking about the other game as that was pretty amazing the lower bracket round one between Monaco and G1, but into this game, and the ball played out, and somebody's just getting bumped. Those are getting bumped into infinity, as that's gotta be unfortunate for him, as BDS take the lead in game number two as well. Rise trying to find something here. Can't quite do it, as Tho's gonna block it off. Up into the ceiling we go. Seago grits the ball first. Doesn't He does get the flipper set off the ceiling, and he uses it to perfection, plays it across goal. Not going to be able to be saved as there's 2 nothing win for BDS. There's a lot less goals in this game as there were in the previous one. Mike Bowie trying to win a 50 over towards though, but he can't quite get to it fast enough. And Monkey Moon's got a free net to aim at, and he's able to capitalize as BDS trying to complete the sweep real quick. Still about half the time left in the game, though. Up in the air, he has flipper set, and he goes far post. Seagull, oh, he just barely misses it. Can't quite do it though, and that is one's a piece. As we are into overtime, and Hibs can't quite find that rise. You're gonna pass infield to Seiko, just gonna laser that one through, and it's not quite found yet. And that will be all as BDS 3 0 team. So, uh, Team Liquid beat G1 3 1, and Oxygen beat FUFA XDOP, and PSG Tundra beat 2 and a half men on. Uh, uh, they all beat him at 3-1 in the lower bracket round number two was PSG Chandra versus Oxygen in this lower bracket round number three. Gets us off as PSG get a couple of goals and a nice save off the goal line. Almost put in back in by Tox and uh, Oxygen scrambling a little bit on defense here. So don't want to have any more goals go in. Still lots of time left in the game to come back. Tox trying to play that one through. Can't quite do it. Kata and he's, he puts it on target but a little slow but he gets back to it as a person gets... Uh, bumped out of the way a defender and a nice save coming down I believe from the top of the back wall so that is three nothing to PSG Tundra But three one is the final score as auction do get something out of the first game and Yorez playing it down and demos the defender about to save that ball and push it away 
right off the kickoff too. It's got to feel good for Oxygen if they're a loss in game number one to try to get some momentum on their side as the ball goes in and it's lasered in. That is a 2 nothing win for Oxygen Esports as the ball played into the corner. Game number three and Ivan can clear that away but only as far as Eeks go, I believe that was, and that is a 1-0 win for them in game number three. Yours trying to dribble that, can't quite find it, and Ivan doesn't get the best contact on it. Yours going to pick up, pass over to a teammate, and that will be a 1-0 win as well as two 1-0 wins will solidify Oxygen's place in the lower bracket quarterfinals. We'll see you then for that video. Thanks for watching.